this video is a continuation of the long-term contract percentage completion method. This is part two. This is for the year 2021. In part one, we calculated the revenue recognized for 2020. We recorded all the journal entries and now we're going to be looking at 2021. When we start 2021, we're going to start 2021 with the beginning balance in our construction in process account. The beginning balance is going to be the same as what we ended last year. So let's see what would have been the balance last year. We had 5 million plus 1,250,000. If you add those together, that's 6,250,000. So I'm going to delete this and start with the beginning balance of 6,250,000. Then, Billings on Construction contract ended with 4,500,000. So that will begin with a credit balance of 4,500,000. It ended last year with a credit balance, 4,500,000. This year, it's going to begin with the beginning balance of 4,500,000. Various accounts, I'm going to delete that because I don't keep track of it. It's not relevant for the question. I just created that to show you that there is a credit to various accounts. Now, accounts receivable will have a beginning balance. Last year, we had debited 4,500,000, credited 4,200,000, they paid us, so we have a remaining balance of the difference. So the remaining balance of accounts receivable at the end of 2020 would have been 300,000. How did we get 300,000? It's the amount billed of 4,500 minus amount paid 4,200. That would be 300,000. Oh, that's one zero short. And then I'm going to delete the credit side because, again, I'm looking for beginning balances. Cash, I don't need to keep track of. That The company has lots of other cash transactions, and I don't need to keep track of those. Revenue from long-term contracts. In 2020, we had 6200000 During the closing process, we would have gotten rid of that, so revenue starts the zero balance in 2021. Same thing with cost of construction. That would have been um, closed out during the closing process, so it starts 2021 with a zero balance. So the three accounts that have balances for 2021 are construction in progress, billings on construction contract, and accounts receivable. Now let's go through the whole process again, but this time for 2021. We're going to follow the same template. We're going to start with construction costs incurred. Now in 2020, it was 5 million. In 2021, it's 12 million. Now, does this mean this 12 million is how much they incurred in 2021 or how much it's incurred throughout the life of the contract? If you read here, it says cumulative, which means it's throughout the life of the contract. So I'm going to change this so we don't get confused and say cumulative. So, so far, until end of 2021, we spent $12 million on this contract. Next, estimated cost to complete at the end of the year. So, at end of 2021, how much do we think we're going to need to spend to complete this contract? Here, at this point, they're telling us that they think they'll need 8 million and 50,000 to complete the contract. So let's go ahead and put that number down, 8 million, 50,000. That gives us total estimated and actual construction costs, which is just the total of these two numbers. And that gives us 20 million and 50,000. If you notice, during 2020, we estimated that it was only going to take us 20 million to com complete this contract, but now we're estimating we're going to go a little over budget and estimate 20 million 50 to complete the contract. That doesn't matter 
for the purpose of the question, you're just going to use the numbers that they give you. All right, so, so far we've got total estimated and actual construction costs. We got how much we've incurred. Now we are ready to calculate the percentage of completion. To calculate the percentage of completion, here's your formula. In your numerator, we're going to have cumulative actual construction cost to date. So basically, how much total construction cost have we incurred to date? Well, that's that top line, that's that 12 million. So that's going to be our numerator. Our numerator is going to be the 12 million. And then we're going to divide that by total estimated and actual construction cost. Total estimated and actual construction cost has now changed to 20 million and 50, and that's our denominator. That multiplied by 100 will give you the percentage completion, which is 60. It's actually slightly different than 60. Um, I'm going to increase the number of decimal places, and you can see that it's 59.85%. Let me increase it one more and then it goes to zero. So it's 59.85% is the percentage completion to date at the end of 2021. Again, all we did was we applied this formula to calculate the percentage of completion. Now we use that percentage of completion to figure out how much revenue to recognize in 2021. Revenue recognized to date is going to be equal to our percentage of completion of 59.85% multiplied by the contract price. What's the contract price? It's 25 million. So you multiply that by 25 million and that tells you that by end of 2021, we are eligible to recognize up to $14,962,594. So by end of 2021, we recognized, we can recognize $14,962,594. But have we recognized any of this yet? Yes, we have. In 2020, we've recognized $6,250,000 off that $14,952,000. So we've got to subtract that previously recognized amount. So how much have we recognized previ previously? We recognized the $6,250,000, so we've got to subtract that to determine how much revenue we're going to recognize in 2021. So in 2021, we're going to recognize 14,962,594 minus 6,250,000 or a total of $8,712,594. That's how much revenue we're going to recognize in 2021. Now, next, how much construction costs have we incurred in 2021? We know that to date, we've incurred 12 million. Of this 12 million, 5 million of that was incurred in 2020. So to figure out how much costs that we incurred in 2021, we can take the 12 million, subtract 5 million, and that gives us $7 million of construction costs that we incurred in 2021. Now we have the numbers we need to calculate gross profit. Gross profit is 8,712,594 minus the 7 million of construction cost incurred. Gross profit for this year is 1,712,594. That's what your calculations are. Now let's go ahead and record the four journal entries we need to do. Do you remember what they are? First one is to record construction costs incurred. So construction costs incurred, what we're going to do is we're going to debit construction in progress and credit various accounts. Construction in progress for this year, what we incurred was 7 million. So we're going to debit 7 million 
to construction in progress by debiting seven million and crediting various accounts. Again, various accounts could be accounts payable, cash, and so on. One more zero, that's seven million. So debit construction in progress, credit various accounts. Next, we're going to record progress billings during the year. To record progress billings during the year, we're going to debit accounts receivable because we're going to bill the customer. In 2021, we billed 7 million. So we're going to debit 7 million Yes, it is a coincidence they're both 7 million, but we're going to bill 7 million accounts receivable debit and we're going to credit 7 million to billings on construction contract. That's your second journal entry. The third journal entry is to record how much cash we collected during the year. The customer has paid us six million eight hundred thousand, so we're going to debit cash six million eight hundred thousand and credit accounts receivable six million eight hundred thousand. Now, those were the three journal entries. Now, the fourth one is to record our revenue. To record revenue, we're going to credit revenue. How much revenue did we earn during 2021? It's 8712594 So let's go ahead and credit 8712594 Gets credited to revenue from long-term contracts. Cost of construction gets debited with the $7 million. And then the difference between the two because our total debits are not equal to total credits, we're missing a debit of 1,712,594. 1, that is our gross profit. Our gross profit gets debited to construction in progress. So 1,712,594. That's it for all the four journal entries for the year 2021. Let's go ahead and take ending balances because last time it was a pain. So I'm just going to put the ending balance in blue here. The ending balance for construction in progress would be just the sum of these three. It has a debit balance of 14,962,594. Billings on contract has a total credit balance of 11,500. So that's a credit. Accounts receivable has a balance of, let's see, we had a beginning balance of 300, we billed another 700, and then they paid us 6,800. So we're going to add the debit, subtract the credit to give us a balance of 500,000 in accounts receivable. That's the ending balance. And then we don't care about cash, various accounts, because we don't carry those forward. And then revenue from long-term contracts and cost of construction will get zeroed out and start with zero balances next year. That's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to look at the year 2022.